Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is my first tutorial for the 12 Days of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. This is a collaboration with several members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Check in the description box below to link to the other videos. I'm not sure if it's going to be a list or if you'll have to go to the Facebook group to get the complete list, but it will be available. And what we're doing is every day for the first 12 days of December, is we're creating projects that you can use to give as gifts for Christmas. Maybe these are for family members or friends or people who love junk journals, or you just want to create something fun and unique to give as a handmade gift. So to start with, what I've got is I've made an envelope template. And if you don't have an envelope template and you want one, I do have a few in my shop. The description box below will have links. But this is one that I made. And what I'm going to do is I've got a gel print. So this was what I consider the first part of gel printing through a stencil. I will pick up some of the paint and leave the stencil down. And this is what you get. And I thought they would make pretty envelopes. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to use this envelope template, and what I'm going to do is I'm kind of lining it up. I look through the back of it. If you don't want to have to worry if you've got it in the right spot, you can draw the template on the front, or you could go ahead and trim off the white space. I'm just going to, have to leave it on, and I'm just scooching it over to one side. And I've just got a pencil. You could use a pen. Some people like to use a pencil because they can erase the line, and they don't have to worry about that being there. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to trace this out really fast. Now if you have like a Cricut or a Silhouette, you probably have templates that you can use in there. Um, you can buy templates. You can make your own. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out just using some Fiskars scissors and trimming it out right on the line. Okay, so I've got that fussy cut out. And the next thing I'm going to do is I go ahead and fold it. You can score it if you want and do it with a ruler, but I just found that it's just as easy for me to take this bottom portion of the envelope and then fold it up. And I'm just lining it up across the bottom and getting it as straight as possible. And then I'm going to fold down the top. Again, trying to get it as straight as possible and then I'll fold in the sides and then that way it ensures that I'm folding it and getting it in the correct shape. All right so I've got that folded so I'm just going to use some walnut stain distress ink and the ranger ink blending blending tool pardon me and I'm going to go around the edges of this envelope. I'll open it back up and I'm going to go around these other edges as well. You can choose to do the inside if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do it just so that kind of covers up the pencil mark that I had on the flap. And if you want, you can add designs on the inside. I'm going to leave mine blank. I'll show you one that I did where I did decorate it. All right, so now I'm going to flip this back in and I'm gauging this right here. Make sure that I've got it pretty straight. And I'm going to put a line of glue on this edge and on this edge. You don't want a lot. You've got to be careful that you're not putting it too far past so that it will adhere down on the little flap. I'm using a Lean's Tacky Glue. I refilled this bottle because I like the size of it and I like this nib that came off of the clear tacky gel or the easy squeeze, some say. And then this will fold down. Now you can choose to adhere this close if you want. One of the things that I did on an envelope that I made was I put just a drop of the best glue ever and I kind of let it dry a little bit and then I placed it, I'm trying to show you, on my clothing to kind of get a little bit of lint on it so that it won't stick too tight but it's still stuck on there. Another way is to use some little bitty magnets. I've got some tutorials showing you how to use little bitty magnets on other projects. All right, so I've got that part done and let's add some decoration to this side. I'm going to grab some little images. I've got these little images from Calco Collage that I fussy cut out a while back and I just put them all in this Ziploc bag so I can choose from them. And I think... What do we got here? 
think those are flowers. Kind of looking at that little image. I mean, it's not very uh, detailed as far as what you can truly see, but I think that's flowers. And I've got a dragonfly, but I think the flowers will kind of stand out. So I'm going to ink those edges. And then kind of looking at this, I think I'll put it maybe like that. So I'm going to glue this down. And this is going to be my faux postage. I'm just going to put that right there. And then I've got from the Postal Cube, the little, I don't know, it looks like a cancellation and it's got some writing. And then I've got some Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black. And I'm going to stamp that at the top, kind of over that Calico Collage image. So now it looks like it's been canceled. You see that? And then I've got these little word phrases that... Uh, I make and have in my shop, but you could use words out of a book or maybe the newspaper or something like that. Here we go. I says, I choose joy. So I'm going to put that on here. All right. So right now the envelope is empty. So let's put something inside. I'm going to go back to this piece and I'm going to trim it. So I'm just going to cut like a strip here and a strip here, and then we'll use one of those strips to make a journal card. And I'll save these little pieces. I've got a little scrap bin that I'll put them in in case I want to use them some other time. I've got some pre-made journal cards that I have it in my stash. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. They're six inches by one, two, three, four-ish, six by four inches about. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to take this and fold it in half. And then I'm going to take this piece and lay it here. And I'm just going to trim it to be the same width, which would be four inches in this case. I'm going to apply some Distress inks around the edges. And then I'm going to adhere this down using Aline's Tacky Glue. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I've got one more envelope that I'm going to show you how to make after I finish this little journal card. And if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And then know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I show how to make gel prints like these pieces here as well as journals. All right, so now I'm going to choose, I think I want to put another little word phrase on here. So I'm going to go back to my little bin. Ah, here we go. This one says, inspire others. Well, I think I'll put that right about here. So now we have a little journal card that you can write in, or maybe it's a note card. You know, these would be great if you made up a whole bunch of them to give to a friend that could pass along to others words of encouragement, if you will. So I'm just going to take this and pop it into the envelope here. And then there is our cute little handmade envelope that we made today. And then I made these earlier. So this one I used a napkin and a dictionary page. And I did the same thing with the scrap. I made a little uh, piece to go on front of this little card here. Here's another one that I covered with a napkin. And this time I made a different kind of journal card. I think I my card was wet when I put it in there. It was a little bit. All right, so there's another little journal card that I made. And then here's a gel print that I made as well. And this time I stamped on the inside. There was a little bit of paint on the back side of this gel print. And just to cover it up, I added some Distress ink and stamped it. And then I made another little journal card to go inside. All right, so that's one envelope idea. And I thought these would be great if you took this bundle and wrapped some ribbon around it and gave it as a gift. And then here's a Christmas one I made. It says special delivery. Okay, for the next envelope that I'm going to make, I've got just a standard letter or paper here. And I've got a stencil that's from my November Stencil Club. And I offer an artistic stencil club. It's a monthly club for $19.99 plus shipping. And if you want one of the past months when you place your order, just say, hey, Linda, I would like November or I would like uh, March or I would like August and I can do that as your first order. If there's two clubs that you would like at one time just tell me what you would like and we can do an invoice and get that all taken care of. 
this is from the November Stencil Club. And I think what I want to do is I've got a peacock turquoise that is from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist set. Again, I'll have links in the description box for the products that I'm using. And I'm going to spray on top of this stencil. I think I'm going to add another color while I'm at it. I've got this Christmas cheer. It's kind of a purple color. It has a little bit of gold in it. So it just kind of gives it a variegated color just a little bit. I'm going to grab another piece of copy paper and lay that on top to mop up what's on my stencil. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating two pages at one time with spraying it with a stencil. So I thought I would share that with y'all that, you know, just because you sprayed the stencil, you don't have to waste what's on top of it. So that's what it looks like when you mop it up. And then here's what it looks like through the stencil. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and spray the backside just a little bit because we are using this for an envelope and you're going to see the inside just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and dry this for just a moment. That way it's easier to fold. Okay, so I've pretty much got this dry. This is the print side, as I'm going to call it, and this will be the inside. So what I'm going to do now is using this in what I call portrait mode, which is up and down. This way is landscape. I'm going to go ahead and pull these sides in and line them up to where they match. And it's not perfect. If you want to get perfect, you can measure this because it's eight and a half wide. You can figure out how many inches in. You can score it. But I just find this is so much easier just to fold it in and match up the sides. And then I'm going to take this top portion and pull it down and make what I call the triangle portion of the flap of our envelope. And then you really want to crease these really well. So I'm just going to use my bone folder and just gently crease that. Then I'm going to take this bottom half and I'm going to pull it up, but I'm going to leave a gap between the bottom of this fold and the top of this portion of our envelope that we're making. And I'm just going to make sure that I get this nice and neat at the bottom. Again, using my bone folder. Then I'm going to take this piece and fold it over and come down just a little bit so you get that nice envelope look at the top here. So sometimes these don't stay closed because of the way we're folding this paper. So I'm going to make a little embellishment. This is a calico collage image. It's a little mushroom that has some birds. And then I backed it onto another piece of paper. What I did was I took the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and a paintbrush and then went around the outside edge. And so it's got a little gold shimmer to it. And I thought that would look really cute right here. But before I glue this down, I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with distressed ink. Okay, so I applied a little bit of dress, distress ink. You can kind of see the difference there. And then I'm going to take this piece, and it's going to go right here. So I'm just going to put glue on this bottom portion so that it doesn't interfere with the opening and closing of this little envelope we've made. So that'll help hold that close. So you just flip it out, and then you can poke it back down in. Okay, I'm going to flip this over to the other side. And I've got the Iris Post. It's a rubber stamp by Beeline Designs that I offer in my shop. And I've colored it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And then I use some Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint on top. So it has a little bit of glitter. And I thought that would look cute in that corner as a faux postage. Like so. And then I'm going to add a little phrase. So let's see what we've got here. Here we go. This one just says, don't overthink it. I'm going to put that right there on the bottom. And then there is another little envelope. Oh, wait, I'm not done. I didn't stamp it. So I'm going to use that same postal cube, the postmark, and we'll just stamp that kind of over it like that. So it looks like it's gone through the postal service. What do you think? Is that kind of cute? Again, then you can open this up. And then you have this whole area to write if you want. You could even write down the margins if you wanted. I think that would be kind of fun. So you get a whole new writing space. You could also put something in here. Maybe you've got a little secret something that you want to stick in there, and you can do that. So that is two different types of envelopes. Here's one that I made making it in a Christmas style with the Peacock Christmas elements and some of the Calico Collage digital downloads with the little reindeer. I thought that would be super cute. 
And I hope you enjoyed seeing, you know, another way to make some little envelopes that you can tuck into spots inside your journal. You could give these as gifts to other people for them to write in. Well, if you enjoyed this, again, give this video a thumbs up. Check out the description box below to links to the other people who are participating in the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. And come back tomorrow to see day two. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support and love. It has been a fabulous time of being able to create for y'all and just love getting your feedback. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Bye.